So this is a very special day, another major milestone of this project uh, as we lift this grillage up and uh, put it in place uh, to tie all four legs of the tower together. And then once that gets uh, uh, put on, uh, we will bolt it in place. We'll have to drill about 5,600 holes and put, place bolts in it and tie it down after the surveying is completed. And then finally we put the saddle uh, on top of that. We're about to place an almost 500 ton grillage that will connect the four legs of the main tower. This is the fifth lift for the New Bay Bridge, but the first four lifts all involved four tower legs. This is a single piece. They call it the grillage, and it was fabricated just three months ago at the ZPMC plant in Shanghai, China. This grillage has to go on place to connect all four of the towers, but its real job is to distribute the weight of the bridge. Uh, the next thing that we'll do in about a month is we'll place a saddle that will sit right on top of this piece, and um, this grillage disperses its weight down through the legs. Uh, and actually, you did a test with the grillage and the saddle this week before you started this move. A absolutely. Um, when you're going to do something this big and this heavy, you've got to make sure that it all fits together. The, um, this grillage was fabricated in China. The uh, saddle that we're going to place was fabricated in Japan. They uh, both arrived here in San Francisco and Oakland, and we did the test fit at Pier 7 in Oakland just a week ago. And tell us about the test. What is it you did during the test? Well, basically, what you do is you, you prep the piece, you prep the grillage to receive the saddle and set them on top of each other. So we brought the, um, one of our big cranes, our barge crane over, to actually do the lift and make sure that all the pieces fit so that when we do this for real, 500 feet in the air, we know that everything goes together well. And part of that is because uh, the saddle was made in Japan and the grillage is made in China and they've never met before. Well, yeah, there is no other opportunity to do this until just a week ago. And how long does this process take taken today? Uh, this is about a 13-hour operation. Crews got uh, on site very early in the morning before 3 a.m. to uh, start their shift, um, push the piece all the way out onto the bay, and uh, we're lifting by around 5 a.m. It's going to fit down right over this piece, right? Absolutely. These are the uh, these are the splice plates that the piece comes down and sits sits together on. So this piece is sitting on four of the legs of the main tower, but it's connected together by steel splice plates on both the inside and the outside of the bridge. And you can imagine trying to position this thing 500 feet in the air. It weighs almost 500 tons. It's got to sit down on all four of these things, and it has to be level on the top. So we want to make sure that the, the level part works and then go ahead and ream the holes so that it all matches. And well, we put the saddle on top of it after the, everything is secured here, and that is supposed to be three to four weeks. So that'll happen in May of 2011. Exactly. And then what happens after you put the saddle in place? Well, after we have the saddle put in place, then, then a lot of the focus is going to go back down to the deck. We still have four pieces that have to go in place on the eastern end of the suspension bridge before we can start cable work. So those pieces will go in place. While that's being done, we'll test fit the architectural tower head sometime in July, just to make sure everything fits. That will be taken back off because it gets in the way of the actual laying of the main cable. Then at the end of the year, we'll go ahead and put in a footbridge that matches the geometry of the cables so that we can begin cable works. But we're finally connecting things, and you're going to be able to see, I mean, the commute drive home today will actually see roughly the height of this tower for the first time. We're going to be at 525 ultimately. That accounts for the saddle and the architectural head that sits on top of it. Uh, the erection process is, is going uh, very well. And that's really a credit to uh, American Bridge and Floor, who have just a tremendous team of folks here. We get closer and closer to uh, completing the bridge and opening up the traffic. And that's really what we're all here for. We're all focused on, uh, on 2013. And hopefully in August, early September, we will get traffic on here. There's a lot of work remaining and a lot of uh, operations that have never, ever been done before on this bridge uh, that we're all planning and all uh, working towards. Mark Jones for the Metropolitan Transportation Commission and the Bay Area Toll Authority.